Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a basement, where to put the boxes, how to wire it, lights, outlets, etc. Let's go ahead and get started. A couple of caveats here. I am not a licensed electrician, but I have run wire before and I have drilled holes before. That's all that roughing in kind of is, uh, as long as you make sure that you're following code. So make sure to follow code in your area. If you're confused or have questions, ask an electrician for your area to be sure that you're doing it right. All right, so I'm putting a couple of boxes in and what you need to know is that the box needs to be, should be about 18 inches off the ground. So I'll go ahead and get a mark in there. And what we do is we go ahead and take our box here and it's got two little notches on it. This will indicate where we need to put it so that it can be flush so that when the drywall goes over it, it will be the perfect amount of uh, distance out from the wall. And so you can put them on either side, you can flip them upside down. But uh, for this particular wall, I'm gonna put it here because I need both an outlet and I'll show you this in a second, which is our low voltage box. So we just go ahead and put it right there. I'm gonna hold it flush. That mark is going to mark the top of the outlet box. There goes my old box. That's it. On the flip side, we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be our low voltage box and ultimately it's going to allow us to put conduit all the way up because we're going to do a wall mounted TV up top. And so we'll go ahead and just line it up. Same exact concept here. There you have it. Got two boxes, exactly where we want them. All right, now that we've got that one in that I just showed you, I wanna go ahead and show you the 612 rule. Ultimately what this means is that you wanna have an outlet no more within six feet from the end of the wall. So that one qualifies. You also wanna have it on the other side, no longer than six feet from the end of the wall, which qualifies. And then you don't want to have, you wanna ensure rather that there is an outlet at least every 12 feet. Now this is a little excessive, only because this one's going to be used for the wall mounted TV, and that's kind of dedicated for that specifically, whereas these ones will be normal outlets. But on a wall like this, you could get away probably with having just two, because you could put this outlet here, maybe one more in, same with this one, one more in, and that would still be within six feet there. It would be within 12 feet of the other one, and it would be within six feet of that wall. All right, step one is going to be taking an electrical wire from this light switch here down to the first outlet. So let's go ahead and drill some holes. Not this one because of these fire blocks on these couple of walls that are holding up the house. I want to make sure that I don't uh, accidentally start drilling through nails. So I want to see how far away this is to know how far in I can actually start going. <coughs> Made a mess, but here it is. All right, maybe you can see with the uh, white light coming in through the back of this, but basically there are four little brackets. One, two, in each of the corners, three, four. We just need to pop one of those out so that we can pull our wire in. Do this from the other side. There you go. And uh, we will rinse and repeat on the box beneath us. And now we should be ready to go to pull our wire. In. All right, so here we've got 14-2 wire. What this basically means is that it is 14 gauge, it's got two wires inside of here. And so, I don't know if you can see this well, but when I open it up, I'll show it better. There's a black wire, your hot wire, white wire, your neutral, and a copper wire, um, unshielded, which is going to be your ground. And this can be used on a 15 amp circuit. This room is a guest room. There's not a lot going on in here, so we're going with 15 amps for this room. And we're going to be putting um, all the lights on here, all the outlets on here, um, just for a single room. And that's pretty much it, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and pull it out. When you do, you're gonna wanna try and unravel it as straight as possible. Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time down the line when your stuff is all twisted. 
What we want to do is we want to go through here. We want to go down here. We want to pull it into this outlet down here. Make sure that we've got about six to eight inches that comes out past the edge of the box. Then what we're also going to do is we're going to staple this every four feet. And when it's within a box here, we're going to make sure that we staple it every six inch, uh, within six inches, excuse me, of the box itself. So we would basically put a staple here and we're gonna pull it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. This is kind of roughed in, <laughs> literally, but uh, what we're going to do here is something kind of like this. So this is going to be the wire that takes the power from the uh, light switch down to this first uh, outlet here. And um, I'm not going to staple them just yet because we're gonna have multiple wires in here and we wanna make sure that we staple them all together, make it look really clean and nice. Um, the second thing that we're going to do right here in just a moment is we're going to take another wire from this outlet box up through here over to this light switch. This light switch is for the bedroom and it's going to turn on a single light up above. And so we need to pull a wire from there to here as step number two, because this is going to work off the same circuit. And basically when the light turns off in here, it will stop the power from the rest of the circuit from turning on the light in the bedroom uh, closet. And then the third step is we will take a third wire from this box and we're going to run it over to the rest of the outlets. So let's do step two real quick. All right, so this is a uh, second piece of that puzzle, like I mentioned. So this is going to carry power now to our uh, light switch here. And we don't have the lights in yet. We're going to just start with the outlets uh, and then the lights are coming a bit later. But basically, we would take one more from this outlet and put it up in this light here. But um, to make sure that the outlets continue to function properly, we need a third wire coming from this box. And the reason for that is some of these boxes are rated for different amounts of volume. Um, so this box right here is an 18 um, cubic volume, cubic inch volume uh, box, which allows you to have basically two of these kinds of wires coming into it. This one down here is a 22 and a half cubic box. It's going to allow you to have three wires coming in and out of it. So because we need a third one to continue to go over to the next one, um, we needed a bigger box there. And let's go ahead and now take the third one. So um, basically we're gonna have to come up and around because we've got a doorway here. Can't really continue to go this way, so. Another thing you want to do is make sure that you actually are um, labeling everything. Obviously this is going to get complicated when you start to get all these wires in here. So you just want to make sure that you know what is what. So we've got our two outlet. Eventually we will have a wire going up across into the, pat uh, the electrical panel, which is right there. That's going to bring the power into this room. Then from there, we go to this outlet. From this outlet, we connect, we basically think of it like a T. So you come in one way, which is going to be our power from the switch. You go out another way, which is going to be our outlets. This guy right here, this third one. Er, this one, excuse me. And then because it's a T, you can think of it like this, right? Straight up and down, and then there's a branch. That's going to be the closet, bedroom light. When we hook these all together, it's going to allow continuous power to all the rest of the outlets, and it will allow us to turn off power to the closet light, which ultimately is that on and off switch in the closet. That one comes up and around right here. This will have another one going up into an eventual light that's going to be up here. And then last but not least, that T, right? We take the one, we go all the way up, because there's a door frame here, we got to go around and we, we're kind of cheating here because we've got this nice bunch of furring that we can use. Um, normally you would just go up and around on the back side of the door frame here. That's kind of blocked off. So we're going over here. 
It's also nice because we're skipping all this. Normally you'd have to drill holes, but we're gonna skip all that. Just come straight down from the top. We'll staple it in here all the way down. And this is going to be um, our from outlet, if you will. And what we're going to do next is just rinse and repeat. We'll take another wire out underneath the window here, all the way to the next outlet. It'll come in. Then we take another one and go out all the way to this outlet, goes in, another one out all the way across in to here. This is low voltage, so we're gonna bring an ethernet cable into that. Then out all the way across to the final outlet in this room and in, and it will end there. There will not be anything coming out of this outlet because this is where the circuit will complete. And that's all there is to this room uh, for the outlets. And the lights are a different story, but that's basically it for this. Couple of outlets, we daisy chain them all together. We hook up this closet light, bring power into the room from there, we're good to go. Now we've got a room completely roughed in for electrical. I'm gonna give you the quick tour of everything we've done. Starting here, we've got our home run that comes in from the panel right over there. It's just dangling so that when we hook it up to the panel, we can just pull you right in, be good to go. We've also got our outlets coming in here. It's gonna go over and down to our first outlet. And then this one will branch off. It will go to our next outlet up over and down and it will continue all the way around the room so that we've got outlets everywhere we need them according to code but it branches and it goes back up here into this uh switch box here this switch box goes up and into this light right here which we will eventually put in once the drywall goes in so that's ready to go Similarly out here, the third one we've got here goes up to our lights, up and under, right here. And then these are just daisy chain, just like the outlets are, to one another. We've got four canless lights that are going in here. Once the drywall's up, we'll put the actual lights in. They just plug right into these guys. And they hang from the ceiling like that. 
Last thing we did was put a couple of low voltage wires in here, some ethernet cables, in case somebody wanted to plug something in. And similarly, we ran those over to our server rack stuff right there. Those are also dangling so that when we're ready, we can plug them in to our patch panel and then from our patch panel to our switch. And there you have it. We've got a fully roughed in electrical room. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to me. See you next time.